I know that glass fiber is a little weird to see, but we are used to think that glass is just the one used for windows, kitchen glasses and bottles. I mean glass is something really rigid, strong, it's not flexible, so it's really weird to think uh, glass as a fiber. Fibers are unstable, flexible, tiny and thin. The reality is that glass fiber exists and our textile regulation of fibers confirms that. It's considered a natural and mineral fiber as asbestos or carbon fiber. But why should we make fibers from glass and how is it manufactured? Let's see all this together. Glass is used in textiles for two big different applications. The first one is building and the second one is technical textiles. In building, glass fibers are used as panels for insulation, concrete reinforcement and several other applications. I would like to focus on the second application though, technical textiles and garments. Is there an applicability of this glass fiber in sportswear for example? The answer is absolutely yes, but first let's see how glass fiber is manufactured. First there's the preparation of a mixture of silica, sand, soda, limestone and other materials that are melted at 1400 degrees. Once the glass is melted you don't have a template like other conventional glass products, you need a spinneret in which this melted glass pass through, exactly like a polyester or a polyamide fiber. Afterwards, the glass filaments are cooled and drawn, cooled and drawn over and over again in order to increase the endurance. Sometimes glass filaments are also finished with some kind of resins or glues. The filaments are eventually spun and twisted to make fantastic yarn cones or alternatively can be blended with more comfortable fibers such as cotton. Blending cotton with glass fibers is a fantastic idea. You can combine the freshness and the comfort of cotton with the properties of glass. Among these we can find endurance, dimensional stability, impermeability, durability, flame resistance, mechanical tenacity, reflective properties, resistance to peeling. Thanks to the reflective properties we can find also glass fibers in fashion industry. The downsides are actually many though. It's not elastic, it's very rigid and stiff, cannot be dyed and the hand is not good, can cause itching on the skin. That's why glass fiber is always put in small amounts in fashion and garments. Usually the percentage can go from 1-2% to 9-10%. There are also yarn cones made of 100% cotton with glass particles inside. These particles are sprayed on the yarn. This technique is also used with ceramics and graphene. Glass fibers can indeed be transformed into yarn and can be used for weaving or knitting but they can be also used for non-woven manufacturing. These non-woven glass fibers are used much for automotive and aerospace and are well known as fiberglass. That's it for today guys, hope you have enjoyed the content of this video. You will find my details below along with my email, Reddit and so on. If you need any textile help, I'm at disposal naturally and as usual, stay safe, take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.